Can I start a mod review at night? Is that like allowed or is that just weird? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's JJ Summer and today we are doing a mod tutorial because we are not reviewing this mod because we all already know it's badass. I'm showing you guys how to use this mod because though this mod is badass, it's super complex which makes it badass. You, oh, phone, why? I'm sorry, I cannot stand- wait, can I put on do not disturb because I will not let anything ruin today because I'm super excited like I don't really I actually have it no I haven't I've never done a mod tutorial and I'm just super excited and this mod like what better mod to show how people how to use because I actually saw the other day on Twitter like someone was like oh my god like I want to use the MC command center mod but I don't know how and I definitely remember that when I first Jen yeah Jen <laughs> X Urban Sim did a mod review and I was like I gotta download this mod so I did and her mod review kind of showed like the gist of how to use it but this mod is so complex that a lot of it you just gotta learn by yourself except for you don't because I'm coming to you with a mod review but like it took a while for me to learn how to use it but now I feel like I'm almost an expert so that's good right but anyways this mod review tutorial fudge <laughs> this mod tutorial is going to be like five to six parts I don't know how long they're going to be I should probably start a timer and make sure it doesn't go on too long piece let's be honest if I was just recording the whole mo mod in one part it'd be like two hours because like I've said a million times this mod is complex but we're just going to start with like the basics and I'm just here to help you guys and if you guys don't know what MC commander mod is first what have you been doing <laughs> it like okay I'll be honest I don't really know what it is I know is it controls like everything like you can set how what your population in your town needs to be you can set how many sims you want pregnant it's like a story progression mod it just it makes playing the sims such a better experience like at this point in time i don't think i could take the mod out and that's not being like i can't live without this mod which i'm sure i've said in other mod reviews and then taken the mod out but this mod i cannot live without like i've had it for so long oh and i wrote this down because i thought it might be relevant there's this mod is always updated right <laughs> right I don't I don't know I said that I'm sorry but this mod is constantly being updated and I have the version that was released on June 26th it's on what is it their name Deadpool's website I don't know the link will be down below because I got you covered girl but anyways what was I saying geez I think I'm a little too excited but let's just start off like this mod is so intense that you can actually access it four kind of ways three I would say but there's a fourth way that you can kind of access it so the best way to access it is through a computer so just click on your computer anyways you can access it through the computer as you can see it says MC command center so you just click on that and you are brought with this and then you can access it through the mailbox which like I honestly place the mailbox for this specific reason and this is MC cheats and this this is probably like the worst way to access it because these are just like cheats like summon sims cheats and we'll be looking at these but they're just not as intricate as the computer wants and then you can access it through your sim so you can just click on your sim and then it, you can do MC command center and it comes up with a, diff, a menu and as you can see the menu from that and the the menu that you get from clicking on your sim and the menu you get from clicking on your computer and the men <laughs> menu did I just say memory I think I was supposed to say menu menu that just sounds weird how do you say menu comment down below actually that won't be make sense but I apologize if I'm saying it wrong but as I was saying, the menu you get from clicking on the mailbox is different. And the fourth way that you can do it is you can actually click on another sim in your, what's it called? Relationship bar. And then a different menu. It's not like, it doesn't look different, but trust me, it's different. And we're going to be looking at all four of those. So that's exciting. But today, I think that for this video, I kind of just wanted to like, it's like a brief one. For those of you, because I know a lot of you are probably like, I am not watching six parts of this and... I understand like I'm a little offended but I understand so we're just gonna do a brief one that kind of shows you how to set the settings because they're all kind of the same you just you gotta know to do it and honestly I probably should have restarted my computer so that you guys could have had like the how it like when you get it how it looks but it's okay 
it's okay. So we're going to first go on to MCC settings, and this is on the computer we accessed it. So look at, so in this MCC settings, there's a bunch of different options. It says auto save, relationship settings, notification console menu settings, money settings, gameplay settings, and set age span duration. So these are all the settings you can get into settings. And obviously, like, let's say if I was like MC cheats, is that not here? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. MC Tuner, there's a bunch of different. What are these called? What do I call them? Settings. But we are not in that. We're going into MCCCC settings. Why is that? MC Commander Mon setting? I don't know why it's MCCCC. But, anyways, let's go into the autosave settings first. Even in the autosave settings, there are a bunch of different settings. And remember, we can go back. And I'll be honest, I've never actually used the autosave settings. But, yeah, I don't know why I'm in here. So. <laughs> For each setting, you can like click on them. Oh my God, this is this is going downhill and it's going downhill real fast. So if you want to like put a setting on, you just gotta click on the setting. So let's say if I want to use autosave, I'm gonna click on it. And right now I can tell that it's disabled because it shows currently selected value will have like this little arrow thing. Is that like the lesson symbol? I think that's the lesson symbol. So that's how you know which one's connected. And default the default value for setting will have this little box I don't really get that oh yeah because there's a box around that so the default is to disable autosave but if you want to you can enable it which will let your game autosave it I'm not gonna do that because ugh, I don't want my game to be autosaving like it's a good idea but no th thank you and then autosave name so you can do that the first part and then it always has like these little descriptions which is so helpful because it allows you to know what's up the first part of the save file name used by autosave functionality the name will have a slot number appended to the name default MC save well you know that's cool I don't really get it but again it's cool <laughs> Sim for, Sims 4 uses the slot numbers when saving the games as slot X where X will be the I don't know what that means number entered here default is 1111 minimum value maximum value is that number that I refuse to say out. So default value. So let's say we want to change a value. We can just go like this. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. But you know what? These save things. Can I guess get out of this? Because you know, I'm not really about that. Ugh, is that bad? Some of these settings are really for gameplay and I'm more interested in the game supply settings. So if you're interested in that, find someone else. <laughs> I'm terrible but we are gonna go into relationship settings because that definitely makes me more excited so you can see in this setting you have the option to do friendship can decay percentage romantic decay percentage and relationship calling so friendship decay percentage so you can do that so it says the percentage of normal decay relationships will lose 100% in default 0% is no decay higher than 100% will result in faster decay than normal so maximum and minimum like honestly I'm okay with the decay but just for video purposes we're gonna say 50 and obviously these settings it says here you can see like right here a game restart is required for the setting this setting change to take effect so you will not see this setting change to take effect but I can vouch that every single setting that I've used has taken effect but let's go back into this MC setting thing so it works confirmed so then you can do that again with romantic and you know we can set that to 50 because truth be told I actually don't really like when my like relationships decay so I'll keep it there and then relationship calling a game restart and it usually tells you if a game restart is required for the setting to take place which a lot of them require a game restart which is like understandable because they're so complex and like they change kind of everything in your game <laughs> so relationship calling follows default EA rules and deletes relationships accordingly bypass relationship calling EA relationship calling MC relationship calling oh so see if I click on this one the little arrow where it's the currently selected moves I'm gonna keep it at EA because I don't know what relationship calling is I promise you I do know how to use this mod I don't really I don't think I've ever actually used settings actually no I do enjoy notifications this is my shiznit <laughs> I really like this one okay so wait I didn't even read you what we're going so we're going into notification console menu settings which is 
I love it. So let's go to notification settings first. So we have all these options. So what is message logging? Let's see. Logs additional details to MC Command Center. I have it disabled. I'm going to keep it at disabled because I don't want a lot of MC Command Center you know notifications because <laughs> no thanks append to log file uh, restarts log file when each due game or appended keeps previous message we will not do that either show notifications um, show module specific notifications these all these setting rules are very specific for the MC command center which I'm noticing honestly I thought I knew this but <laughs> this is what I do okay show age up notifications no notif uh, show a notification post when a sim ages up no notification message for this type of notification will be displayed so currently selected NPCs only um, players only related to active household I usually just like to do kind of um f active friends only I like to do kind of that thing because that includes family played only and played only just includes my household and like or played sims, but I don't have very many played sims, so I'm definitely going to do active friends only. Truth be told, I thought I had that on. So show death notifications. Truth be told, I, I have all on, but you can, again, do none. NBC, NPCs only, played only, related act to active households, active friends only, and active romantic only. So what this means, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case you're stupid. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kind of weird in this video because I'm like, I was kind of shook that I didn't know how to do the first two settings, but now I'm in like my forte. But anyways, you're going to get notifications right here being like, Don Lothario died and it's going to show his ghost, which I think is funny. Kind of sad. I don't think it says what they died by, but I guess by their ghost color, you know, right? I don't know. I never really looked. I wasn't like, how did they die? Like it just, it was nice to know when Thims died. Okay. So then we're going to do show NPC birthday notifications. Truth be told, I really don't care that much about NPCs. Except for Don Lothario. <laughs> Is he an NPC? No, I'm playable. No, you can play him. I don't know an MC. Maybe like Grim Reaper? Can you play the Grim Reaper? Oh, I don't know. If enabled, a notification will be sent from any non-played sim who is about to have a birthday. I don't really care too much about birthdays. Only with like children show MC error notifications now I'd have this on the MC command center mod rarely like faults out but just in case I don't think I've ever had mine have an issue too unless I have other mods conflicting it which <laughs> has happened because I'm a mod addict so show Elinosis if enabled when an error message from the sims is output to the last exception t xt file a notification will be shown and I have that on and I suggest you have that on. I'm just gonna go into the show menu settings. Oh, show computer menu. Um if enabled an MC command men center menu is visible on computers for configuring module settings. Oh yeah, obviously I'll do that because I want to see it on the computer. So that's just like what we're in right now. If I disable that then we wouldn't be able to get into that via the computer and I don't know what the point was what, for that would be to be. What uh, I don't know what point that would have. Was that correct English? Uh, can I talk English? We'll see. Defines whether or not MC command center menu is visible on sims or the RL panel providing various sim specific commands. I just say all. Oh, I don't know. These are like default things. I usually Honestly, for this type of thing, I'll just keep it default because they know what they're doing. For, like, population, that's really, like, self-explanatory. And tip, well, when we get into that, I'll have a lot of tips because they're, I have overdone it with this mod before. And I've had, like, oh, my God, I want so many babies. And I've had my town filled with babies. Oh, my God, I got to show you something. W this is, like, really off track. If enabled, an MC cheat may menu is visible on mailboxes, which we won't. But can I show you something? Um... Okay, one sec. So I'm just going to show you guys the bad effect of the MC Commandment Center if you do not know how to use it. Because I've had this current household, which, hey, current household coming next week. But I've had this current household for a while, so there's been a lot of time to grow. But let me just show you, like, the effect of, like, not, like, knowing how to control it. Yeah, look at this. Oh. <laughs> look at this. That's because I had my, um... I think I had a, when toddlers first came out, I was like, I want thousands and thousands and thousands of toddlers in my town. And look what happened. Look how many step, half, whatever siblings 
this chick has like over 10 so essence of the story be careful and know how to control the mc command center mod but we're not done with the settings module okay but it says enable full edit mode so obviously you can say the default is disabled but i like to enable it because i always like to be in full edit mode it's bad but it, it's just how i roll because i'm a gangster i'm totally kidding testing cheats i always like to have my testing cheats on too because like why would I ever want it off? Like, I don't feel like every time I actually have a shortcut key, so it's only test Y, but I want to be like testing cheats enabled on. Like, I don't know why they should be off. I don't want move objects on all the time, but I don't need my testing enabled off. Headline effects, like you can have that off all the time, which like, I don't want it off that all the time. Hover effects, which I don't know what those are. If disabled, the hover effects such as white outlines around sim and objects will always be hidden upon, oh. I don't want that. So debug commands and cheats. Do I have that on? With I kind of want that enabled. I won't though, just in case, because the debugs sometimes are annoying. But this allows all the debug cheats to always be enabled, and then this allows you can have the debug cheats again always enabled. The move objects on cheats always enabled. The ignore unlocks cheats. You know what? I want that always enabled. And you know what? I also want free build always enabled because I'm always wanting to build wait that just means wait <laughs> if free build is enabled will always be enabled upon loading screen i'll try that does that mean it, everything's free i don't think that means free i just mean think that means i can build on community lots which thumbs up to that but now let's go that was console command settings which i definitely didn't read now let's do phone text settings um so this allows all text to go through to your sims festival text no text and default let's just let all text i don't know if you hate festivals that's a cheat for you i guess okay so now let's go into money settings which let's be honest best settings so you can paste child support i like having this on for all sims because some of my sims like they just i just like extra money <laughs> But you have married only, unmarried, none, default. Like, I don't know why you need married child support. Maybe I should only do unmarried. Yeah, probably only unmarried. Okay, if a child is not, oh no, all. Oh, let's go ball, ball. Because I didn't, see, this is why you read this section, kids. If a child is not living with both parents, this study will, can allow money to be removed from or paid the active sim household. Child support payments and earnings will happen for a single parent with child living with them regardless of marriage status. Yes, we are going to do that. And then child support percentage. So I just have a little because I don't want like huge bills being paid to my sim because that's a little you know one is nice actually maybe not default value it's the default value and i think most of my sims get like a thousand dollars it depends of course how rich they are i'm sure my oakley legacy sim who is like has a child with malcolm actually she might have to pay malcolm child support because her daughter lives with her oh shit but you only get this weekly so it's not that big of a deal i haven't had ever why is it like can you hear that there's so much banging upstairs but anyways i've never actually had my sims have to pay for child support but i've had sims that i don't play with pay for child support so thumbs up for child support and change bill percentage mine's at one right now not a good idea what is the default value let's keep it the default value it's not minus zero it's just zero but yeah you can do percentage for bills and i put it at one because i wanted really cheap bills for my hotel challenge but not a good idea if you get percentages, then this is helpful, <laughs> but I don't. So, really unhelpful. But minimum value minus a thousand, one hundred, which would be no bills, and one hundred would be double bills, so like double the minimum. So, you do with it what you want. And then apartment percentage, again, it's like that. I would explain this more, but you just kind of need to know percentages to do this, and I don't. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And auto pay play. Uh, pay bills which i like i i am the worst at going out to the mailbox or on my phone in the sims and paying bills so this this is something i find super helpful and let's go back we're done with money settings gameplay settings ah, my favorite pause on zone which every time you go into like let's say i wanted to go to the swimming pool it would pause because i hate when like because sometimes during loading screens i'm like peace i'm gonna get a coffee because they're so long so i hate when like it continues to play so it just always pauses this one's just 
hopeful for me put away book fix you know what it's enabled but it's default enabled it just makes sims put away books honestly i couldn't care less game time speed which like you can increase the game time speed which let's read this the number of real-time milliseconds for every sim second the default is 25 and less than that makes days go faster and greater makes days go slower honestly these are kind of settings that i don't really feel like i need to mess with because i'm okay with how fast my sim days goes and i don't know i've never even tried messing with it but i would assume it makes the game a little laggy i don't know my game's already laggy <laughs> um sims die on lots if enabled sims will well if enabled when sims are killed with the kill sim command the reaper will only show up if they are on the lot if they are wandering the streets they will just turn into ghosts apparently I have that enabled I don't know again not obviously not all these cheats I'm gonna care about not all these cheats you're gonna care about it's just it's self-explanatory so do what you want skill dif difficulty adjustment <laughs> And change skill progression to be slower, faster. Valid settings are minus 10 to 10 with a default of 0. Negative is slower progression, positive is faster. Can I have one? No. I'm, I do want my skills to be faster. I'm not going to do anything. I should, but I'm not. I'm not. Because there's some things like, it's just like how the sims work. And I'm really not interested in changing the way the game works that much. Even though this mod is really just, you're changing how you play the sims which is fun maximum household size so ooh, I don't know you can go to 25 but this just allows you to change maximum household size I haven't had to use this but again these are a lot of just things like you're not going to use all the times but like let's say I want to do like a hundred baby challenge this might come in handy however I don't even know how you control more than eight sims I can barely control eight sims okay but we are done girl <laughs> I'm sorry I was no we're not Jesus we're not okay set age span duration so baby all oh, this is so helpful so it specific specif specifies the number of days in the selected age span so you're a baby for two days and you can get up to a thousand i think that's good honestly toddler how many long are you a toddler for that's good teen 13 days that's good however i do think that it's this is for like the default lifespan because as you can see wait we got annika is going to be a uh, adult for 52 days because i have long lifespans on because i don't want my sins to die you know but i think that the setting what was it called what was it called again the set age span irritation was definitely just for a normal age span but it's cool like if you want to be really specific like i think i would be interested in doing this for like a legacy because i I would definitely also change elder because 10 days for elder I just think like that's a little ridiculous because that's like as much as a, a little less than a toddler like that's like teens are short lifespans are short that's only like 100 days which I guess like 100 days of the sims that's a lot of sims hour but hey your girl is at 600 which honestly I'm embarrassed at embarrassed of embarrassed of but it's okay but anyways guys now we are done. I do know that this was a long one, but this one had a lot, of ex a lot of explaining to do with it. So I think that that's one of the reasons it's so long. And now after doing this one, and I was like, don't worry, guys. It will only be six parts, more like 20. I'm just kidding. It won't be 20, but it will be. I don't know how many parts this will be, but it will be a while. Because I'm teaching you how to do the most complex mod in the world in the sims world i don't know guys i'm okay with it being long this was fun it was fun for me to explain it was honestly kind of a learning experience for me which is kind of embarrassing but i promise like the settings one is my like i don't really get that one but other ones i get i like the population one i'm excited to get to that one but we are going to be covering all of them so that's super excited and we're going to obviously start with computers because those are the main ones but like I said before, you could technically just watch this video and now that you know how the MC Command Center mod works and how you can like change things up, you can do 
you can do whatever you want so i'm sad to say but you actually don't need me to go through the, this to go through with this mod but anyways i had fun recording this mod review i hope that you all had fun watching it and i hope that some of you do join in for part two because in part two we will be looking at the cast which like a lot of like the setting ones was the longest one so it would probably like cast career and cleaner all in one because settings super long like if you look at career pretty short i think the population one's pretty long too but hey we will see today was just settings but i'm sure other ones will be longer and yeah i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to say please log in for part two but anyways i hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day and don't for the forget to comment rate or subscribe is it right like not right this isn't fucking netflix but give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down because this is YouTube, and it's okay to have that system on YouTube, but not Netflix. I'm heated. It's okay. It's okay, really. Anyways, I will see you all in my next video, and I promise to be less crazy, but not really. I think I'm, I have this, like, crazy thing going for me, and it's, it's great. It's my brand. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but anyways, bye, guys.